you seen Tyler Perry's new movie, For Colored Girls? No. And I have no plans to see that garbage. Why not? Because I am tired of watching one movie, after another, wherein the black woman is victimized and the black man is demonized and depicted as an animal. But this movie is not about black men, it is about bringing awareness to the issues that black women and all other women alike face. It's meant to uplift women and it leaves the door open for the man to tell his side. Is there something wrong with telling the truth about abuse, sexual exploitation, extreme religion, illiteracy and the male-slash-female relationship? Do you seriously believe that black people needed another movie depicting rape, down-low brothers, domestic violence and etc.? Have we not covered the same ground via several other movies, that is precious, color purple, waiting to exhale, diary of a mad black woman? Need I continue? But, like I said, it is meant to uplift black women. At the expense of the black man? So you mean to tell me the only way a black woman can feel uplifted, is for the black man to simultaneously be demonized? Kevin Powell, a black male writer for AllHipHop.com said, For Colored Girls is not a male bashing film. It is a story about women and if you, a man, happen to be uncomfortable with what you see and hear, then maybe it is because elements of who you be are in some of those characters. First and foremost, I cannot take Kevin seriously when he says things like, quote, who you be, but I digress on that point. Furthermore, it is insulting to say that any black man that does not like being portrayed as down low, HIV, positive, a cheater, woman beater, murderer or rapist, must himself identify with one of those categories. If you don't identify with these negative depictions of black men, why do you have such a problem with the movie? Are you serious? Let's see. Because when I step my black face out into the world the crap people see on TV is what they will immediately associate with me. Moreover, one day I will have a son and I do not need him to be bombarded with these negative images. Weren't you just telling us yesterday about your experience as a middle school teacher in an urban school district? Yes, why? Well, I distinctly remember you mentioning how you think a lot of those young black boys needed positive black male role models. If you recognize that as a need in our community, how can you not see that this movie, which will undoubtedly make it into every black home via DVD, will only serve as further examples of negative black male role models? Well, I do not want to think that way. Something told me you wouldn't. Plus, I just think you black men are just being overly critical and reading more into the movie than you ought to. This type of movie and its detrimental effect on the black community has been explained extensively by Dr. Frances Cress Wilson, an acclaimed black female psychiatrist, who long ago began publishing on the dangers of blacks allowing themselves to be cast in roles that reinforce negative stereotypes. I mentioned Dr. Wilson to point out that the concerns that black men have expressed are not unfounded, and merely based on personal insecurity. As you suggest... I do not know Dr. Welsing, so I do not believe her. I believe you are just being a hater. You don't know Tyler Perry, or Kevin Powell, yet you trust them? Look, I can see this conversation is going nowhere. So I am going to go on about my business, and continue to be the black male role model that Hollywood refuses to portray on TV. Thing are blacks or some blacks doing in terms of accelerating a negative public opinion or a public opinion oh, well, that could okay. come back to bite them? That's All my, right, well, that's let's, my let's take an example. A person who considers him or herself to be an actor, television actor, black, who doesn't understand this white supremacy dynamic. So somebody comes along and offers them a job, do you see? But they have to act as a clown and a buffoon. And they just think, well, I'm in the abstract being an actor or an actress. Unbeknownst to them, it's a whole context in which this role is being carried out, where people feel who have set up this image that they need to be in re reinforced. See, look at blacks. They're clowns. They're stupid. They're buffoons. Look at this. This is trash. Let's look at daytime 
television. Look at it for me, will you, with the eyes of a psychiatrist. All right, the daytime talk shows. Yes. All right, I would say that there are many black people that are being tapped. I don't know where they go to find these people. Do you see? But it's this, if it's, the parallel would be, if a white person who's putting on a television show decides, let me go and get the least advantaged white person and put them up on the television continue, not the most beautiful, the most articulate, the most intelligent. No, let me go to the poorest area where there are white people and then put them up continually as a model for what white people are all about. You see, we go back to Nazi Germany and Joseph Goebbels, who understood if we keep putting out negative images of Semites of the Jewish religion, we can train the population to say, look, they're animals. They're not human. And so the sooner we get rid of them, the better. I think that many talk shows are using and trashing black people in this manner, in addition to some of the shows that come on in the evening. I can think of uh, one of the shows that just trashes the image of black men. We complained in the 50s and the 60s and maybe the 40s about the Amos and Andy image. Those are angelic images <laughs> compared to the images of black men you see that are being put on the television and this is supposed to be entertainment. I say no. This you know is what I, I thought was remarkable uh, and I've read it everywhere and that was the reaction of the vast majority of white people to the Clarence Thomas hearings. Not yay or nay Clarence or Anita Hill, but it was, I had never seen so many articulate, intelligent black people before. And well, it was that like, was because they had been indoctrinated with the idea. With, with the kind of uh, images you're talking about.